Hello, this is Kevin Cosby with another powerful point to ponder. And the point I would like for you to ponder is about your appearance. Appearance. Psychologists tell us that whenever we're trying to make an impression on someone else, for example, let's say you're trying to get a job, appearance is critical because people assess you on the basis of number one, appearance, number two, facial expressions. So sometimes the best face lift is just a smile. And then finally, the vocabulary words that you use. And that's how people evaluate you. But 70% of the way people assess you is based on your appearance. That is why we read in the Bible, in the book of Genesis chapter 41, that when Joseph, who had been in prison for over three years, got the call from the king of Egypt uh, to help him interpret his dream, we are told that Joseph changed clothes and Joseph changed. Why? Because Joseph knew appearance was important. First of all, just because he took off the prison garb and put on new clothing and shaved and had a haircut, it made him feel better. Because whenever you clean up or put on something new or get your hair fixed, it does something to your, uh, your mood. It helps you feel better. In addition to that, Joseph knew that he was going to visit the king, be in the presence of the king. He was leaving jail. He was going to be with the king. And Joseph realized that, hey, I want to dress not like where I have been, but I want to dress where the way and the places I want to go. What about you? Are you dressing based on where you've been? Or are you dressing based on where you want to go? Now, I know some of you are saying, well, doesn't the Bible say that God looks at the heart and while man looks at the appearance? Did not uh, Samuel tell, uh, God tell Samuel that when you choose a king, don't base it on outward appearance because God looks at the heart? Well, that's true. God does look at the heart. But it also says that while God looks at the heart, man looks at the outward appearance. And guess what? The people who want to employ you, they're not God. They're human beings. And they will evaluate you on the basis of your appearance. And they can't get to know who you are if they can't first get past your appearance. Well, God bless you. That's a powerful point to ponder. I hope you have a blessed Christmas. In fact, I would like to invite you to our Christmas celebration here at St. Stephen Church. My man, Kevin Brian James and the Tabernacle Choir is going to be doing the thing. And tell us more about that, Kevin. When is that? The concert is going to be this Sunday at 6 p.m. at the Louisville campus. And we're so excited about what's going to happen this week. In, uh, in the uh, Tabernacle Choir concert. We got special guest Crystal Rucker is coming all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. And the Tabernacle Choir has been rehearsing for the last two months and they are so excited about what they're gonna share with you on that night. Well, you know, it's, there's no better way to celebrate Christmas like singing the songs of the Christmas season. That's true. We're inviting everyone to come out this Sunday the 21st at 6 p.m. at the Louisville campus to our annual Christmas concert. And you know, Kevin, there's no better way to really get in the Christmas mood, like singing the songs of the Christmas season. And that's what we're gonna to do together at this concert. You come and be with us uh, Sunday at six o'clock uh, for this great concert. And don't forget to work on your appearance. <laughs>